Happy Friday, you guys. I'm gonna start this vlog out with some cooking because it is a little bit later on in the afternoon and it's time to start dinner. So let's make some sausage and herb casserole, shall we? Pretty excited for this. These are the things you're gonna need if you should have one of these and like to make it as well. Uh, but if you have one of these, then you probably already know how to make it because the instructions are on here. So, <laughs> here, I'm just gonna show you what I'm doing. You're gonna need some sausage. We picked hot Italian turkey sausage because we had a coupon for Jenny O, which we forgot and ended up buying this for full price, but that's okay. <laughs> You're gonna need like half a package of these sliced mushrooms, half of a large onion, uh, so really a small onion, but I couldn't find smaller than this, and this is pretty darn big. A couple of big potatoes. It also calls for some red pepper, but I'm not really a fan. So I'm gonna just do this instead and hope for the best. <laughs> okay, I got a little bit ahead of myself. I cooked the sausages up for maybe like 15 minutes. I just wanted them to be like a little bit browned, I guess, a little bit crisp. I sliced up my onion and I'm slicing up the rest of the potatoes now. I washed my sliced mushrooms. And I'm gonna cut the rest of these up, add in my seasoning, tie this bag up and get it in the oven for I think uh, 45 minutes. All right, I've got everything in the bag. I've actually mixed it up a little bit, but I've realized when editing these videos that these bags are very loud and I end up having to cut most of the clips that they're in because they're so loud that they like mess up the microphone. So that's the dinner. I'm gonna try not to move it. All right, it's in the oven and it should be ready as soon as Tim is walking in the door. So that is timed perfectly. So I was just making Tim's lunch while I was waiting for dinner to cook. It's gonna be ready in like 25-ish minutes. And I totally forgot to show you guys Armani's little cone. He had it on all day and actually kind of seems to like it. It's kind of funny because I think it's comfortable for him because he's been like resting his head on it when he lays down. He's got one of those like airplane pillows, you know? So I guess it's not so bad. And because it's inflated, he can't reach his head around to bite his little butt. So I guess it's like a win-win. So, all right, cool. Oh, I guess I should say if any of you guys have the same problem or you use like the cone, this might actually be a better idea for you and it might be worth checking out because it is seems to be more comfortable for everybody involved. They are twice as much money as those cones, but I don't, I don't know, I mean, if it's something that you wanna do, it's definitely um, an option. So I like it and Armani seems to like it, but there you go, there's my review of the inflatable cone. He's just hungry, he doesn't care. <laughs> so Tim just got home and while we are waiting for dinner to finish, we're gonna have this blue cheese salad that we got at Publix and it's gonna be delicious. It has like little raisins and blue cheese vinaigrette dressing, blue cheese uh, crumbles and like roasted nuts. Do you know what happened to my sweatshirt? <laughs> it's, I think I'm washing it. Oh. Do you want this sweet sweatshirt? Check it out guys, Christmas is like never ending with me. <laughs> it's always Christmas. No, I'll find a different sweatshirt. Thank you for offering the shirt off your back though. Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> Just finished all my salad and look at that big chunk of cranberry raisin sugary goodness in the bottom. Yeah, that's like the mother load. Yeah, that looks awesome. And here's mine. I only took one sausage. Tim said they were kind of spicy. Yeah, they're a little bit spicy. Ooh. So those of you guys that have been here with us for a little while, oh hey, happy Friday everybody, TGIF, right? Uh, those of you guys that have been here with us for a while know that we have bats in the attic and can't get rid of them because they are nursing and then I missed the chance to get rid of them because we were having too much fun when the weather was warm. Now the weather's cold, they're hibernating in the attic and I can't get them out because they have to leave on their own. I can't like go in there and grab them or anything like that because that would be crazy. Um, but we do want to keep the bats because there's no bugs in the backyard. So I built a bat house. Never put the bat house up. We're going to put the bat house up tonight. And uh, actually right now. Let's go do it. You guys ready for me to scare the heck out of Jen? Why? I'm going to climb that ladder. Oh. There. It's kind of actually frightening me up that ladder because it bounces around a lot. But at least I have the beautiful sunset to console me as I go <laughs> up. And, and all the dogs barking too. Oh gosh, look at it. It's really wiggling a lot. Yeah, that's how I like it. Oh, are you gonna be okay? Yeah. Oh God. What do you think? I think it's done. All right, that's exciting. I think for Christmas, uh -huh. I want a cordless drill. That's why I was using this thing because we don't have a cord long enough to reach up there. Oh no. Way up there. Yeah. Although, I would want it to be an impact driver and that would wake up the bats. And I don't think they would be very happy with that. Oh, this looks like a bad idea. What? 
It looks like a bad idea. Oh. <laughs> and now I go in the pool. Oh god. <laughs> I know it's kind of dark and hard to see, but this is pretty scary. So, although it is too cold right now for the bats to come out, hopefully when it warms up a little bit, which I'm hoping it'll happen in the next few weeks or so, because it's getting too cold here for me, they'll come out and then they'll like go back in and see the bat house there and they'll be like, hey, what's that thing? And then when I make it so that they leave and then can't come back, they just go into the bat house and they're like, all right, well, that's probably close enough to what we had before. And then we still get the benefit of the bats eating all the bugs and no bats in the attic. So we can do some work on the office upstairs, taking down the drywall and insulating and putting in new ceilings and stuff like that. And it's gonna be a good time. So right now we are designing an Ikea kitchen. It's true. Yeah, and this is kind of weird because they have you put your measurements down for like your kitchen, but it seems a little bit more complicated than I would like for it to be. I don't know, what do you think? That's not too bad. I've used this program before, so. Oh, what is it? I'm cheating. I mean, it's the Ikea program. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited. We'll show you guys what we end up with. So we're semi-finished. Check it out. Yeah, look at our kitchen. Good news is I made it so that we have a stove, a dishwasher, a sink, and an oven, but I still don't have a spot for the microwave. It's getting there. Can you guys see our... Why isn't this door here? I don't know. That's weird. That is weird. Because look. Oh, it's not there anymore. I never added that door. No, wait, I did. It disappeared. Oh, no. Well, that's weird. Ikea. I don't understand why they made the door go away. All right, well, the door's gone. <laughs> but, I mean, that's okay. You can imagine it. And then right on this wall, you can kind of see it right there. That wall right there. I want to put like a ledge and maybe have a couple of bar stools so that it can still be like a usable space. And then I want to do some cool shelving on the wall. Yeah. But that's like our like sort of kitchen that we're going to do. Yay. I don't know if there's enough room for bar stools. This is a really small space here next to this door. So if there's bar stools, they'll be out in the middle of this walkway. But yay, this took a long time. Yeah. I think it's kind of cool though. It is. And there's still like a lot of like randomness that's this weird gap here and this weird gap over here because this is the the range, but I can't like connect these two cabinets together in the program. So they're like, no, nah, there's going to be a space there. Yeah. So, yay. The, yeah, the real thing will look a lot better, but I don't know. I'm excited. I'm excited for a new kitchen. Yeah. I still got to figure out where to put the microwave. No, oh, no. One day I'll find it. I'll tell you guys what. It may have like worked out to where we designed our kitchen, but that darn program was difficult to use. It was like, oh, here's a cabinet. Let me put it over there. It's like, you can't do that. There's a refrigerator in the way. And I'm like, it's a computer. I can do whatever the heck I want to. Like, why won't you let me move this imaginary cabinet over top of another imaginary cabinet? Like when I go to let go of it, yeah, I say, no, you can't put it there. But when I'm moving it, I can move it across the top of a refrigerator if I wanted to. But you'll let me put the refrigerator through the wall? Just doesn't make any sense at all. But as you guys can see, it's way past my bedtime. So I gotta go to bed and I will see you guys tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price.